I first uh, came about the idea for the Veteran Suicide Prevention Channel after moving to Round Rock, Texas. I heard this news report that uh, 22 veterans a day were killing themselves, committing suicide, and it really bothered me. I thought about different people that I know, veterans, people I served with when I was in the Navy. And I wondered if there was anything that I could maybe do to affect that sad statistic. I suffer with PTSD myself and sometimes I get up early in the morning. So at the time that I was asking myself that question, being a filmmaker, I did not think there was anything that I could do as a filmmaker. And then one day I got up early in the morning and it was about three or four o'clock and this idea hit me. And the thought was that I would take my camera and I would go to the VA and I would ask some of my friends, veterans, what would they say to a veteran if they came to them and told them that they were going to commit suicide? What words could they use to talk them out of it? And I shot all of these interviews and, and posted them one by one on YouTube under the title Veteran Suicide Prevention Channel in the hope that someone would find it and see it and that someone would say something that would talk a veteran out of committing suicide. Well, it wasn't that millions of people tuned into that YouTube channel, but what happened was YouTube, the nomenclature of new to YouTube, um, began to point everything on YouTube to the Veteran Suicide Prevention channel that had to do with veteran suicide prevention. So I looked around and suddenly I had all of this stuff on my channel. It was amazing. So I thought, job well done. That's it. I did what I was supposed to do. And I moved on. Well, my birthday was coming up May 15th, and my wife decided that she was going to take me to Shreveport. I mean, she was going to take me to New Orleans, because I'd never been to New Orleans. But my sister lives in, lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. So we decided to go through Dallas, go that way. And I stopped and visited her on my way to New Orleans. She decided, my sister Stephanie, that she was going to take us to dinner to get some catfish. And she had these cute little dogs, you know, the cuddly kind, lap dogs. And uh, she said, well, let me turn on the television on the pet channel to keep them entertained while we're gone. And I said, the pet channel? <laughs> What's that? And I followed her into the living room. She turned the channel on, and there was this channel with it had balls and dogs barking, and it was very interesting. I said, "Oh, that's that's interesting. Uh, that's a local channel, right?" And she said, "No, that's not a local channel. It's everywhere." And it hit me like a ton of bricks. I thought pets have their own national channel, but veterans do not. There was something wrong with this picture, and uh, when I left. Shreveport on my way to New Orleans, I told my wife, I said, wow, you know, I just had a revelation. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I know that it must be done. Somehow, I'm going to create a national broadcast channel for veterans. And I came back renewed, knowing that my work had not been completed with those interviews I put up on YouTube. So, the basic idea for this channel really came out of happenstance and discovery. Um, and I think that what we want to do with the Veteran Suicide Prevention Channel can save lives. I honestly do. But we have to be vigilant. We have to be smart. We have to find the shows that will reach out to people and create a space where people know to come, where our veterans know that they can come for support. So I hope you'll see the same thing that I see right now. I hope that you can see how the creation of this channel 
the Veterans Suicide Prevention Channel can help so many veterans. How it can save lives. But in order to do that, we need your support. So, dig in, come and help us to create this channel, a place of healing and wellness for our nation's veterans. Thank you for listening to this message.